Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. And today's shave is, yes, is for, we're going to use Razor Emporium's sample here, old school, and a Parker variant razor that I just got. So yes, yes, we're going to use that today. So I'm intrigued by this. Incidentally, if you saw my unboxing video, this razor's got some weight to it. I actually was just shocked to, to feel how heavy this was on a mass-produced razor. But yes, this is probably the heaviest mass-produced razor I've ever held in my hands. So yeah, just pointing that out. Uh, and of course, it's a two-piece razor, so it's adjustable. So you can see the adjustments on the bottom there. You see, you see that little dot, that's the adjustment point. So you can see it twists from there, up one to five, with half notches in between. But you also just, and it's kind of stiff, the initial part the, through the adjustment points. Once you get past it, it lightens right up. So that, like, and it stays, it doesn't come off. But the top comes off, so yeah. So top comes off. I'll put that back for just a minute. While I'm reaching here for the razor blade we're gonna use, which is, I didn't pull an Astro for this one because basically my drawer, I already had my favorite blades here. So I just decided to use this instead of Astro. Usually use an Astro as a first try on any new razor, but yeah, today I've, I've got my, my favorite blade instead. So we'll go with that. Let me just hold it up so you can see Gillette Silver Blue. Okay, there we go, paper over there. So I'm gonna take top cap off, put that on there. Oops, make sure it's not backwards, sorry. There is a left and a right side to this, so making sure. Oh, cut myself, I just, I just felt that pinch. Okay, got it. Turn you over here, making sure things are lined up. Smooth, smooth. Dot, dot, yes. I, did, I, did, I stuck myself in the finger, I know that's gonna, yep. As you can see, I got a tiny little micro slice on my ring finger on my right hand. Just trying to. <laughs> Need to be things at once. There we go. So it's out. It's full tight. I'm going to grab my glasses. Just because I want to double check things. Just so I can see it better. There we go. So yes, as you see, on this side, there's a dash up top. And there's a little line there. And on this side, it's both smooth. So that's why you know it's you've got the head cap on, right? Yeah, you see it's starting to bleed a little bit. Just nicked it. Just barely caught the edge of the razor blade. The piece of hair or something? What is that? Nope, just a reflection, sorry. Okay, let's wipe that off a little bit. So yes, that Parker, and it is just a bead blast finish. It's not shiny, really. It's just, you can tell it's got like a rough finish on there. Probably a good little project for a polishing, I bet. Maybe someday I do have metal polishing compounds and stuff in the, in the garage. So that's a possibility, but if I want to take that effort right now, I'm kind of just enjoying this. So yes, so, so I'm looking at the, the dot. So the dot's on number one, so if you can see that, so you see that the dot you see the dot right there get my fingers out there see the light you see it better but if I get to focus it's about as good as it's gonna get okay so there's that so I'm gonna go up to five three four five somebody I don't think they were being antagonistic goading me to do with number five or if they just said if, you, if they was if they were being serious saying yeah it'll be smooth and nice so yeah but look at that with with it on number five you can see, yeah, there's some, definitely some blade gap there. Look at that, wow, yeah, there's some blade gap. And I'll just say just normal amount of blade exposure. Yeah, not tons, but there's definitely some gap, so we'll see. So we got that, so let me pause, wash the face, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, face is washed. Slight little witness on the t-shirt you can see. And let me see here, sorry, I'm just stuff you got. Of course the razor's all loaded, but we haven't loaded the soap, so I'm gonna use the scuttle here. I put my finger over the hole so it doesn't spill all the water out of it, but there's warm water in there. So you can see a little hole there. Warm. Yep, see, there's warm water. <laughs> so now, let me see here. Where's my soap? Oh, right here. So here's the soap, the old school soap. It's, it's quite sweet uh, for the old school soap. And the, the ingredients, I did read the ingredients. I wrote them down so I could tell you. So if the old school scent, it's um, the scents are, the notes are leather, black pepper, vetiver, frankincense, clove, aloe, tobacco, bay leaves, and white musk. So those are all the scent profiles in there. Hmm, that's nice. It is quite sweet. Um, oh, and today I'm not using my spoon. You're always used to seeing me see my spoon. Scott, how are you going to keep it all, you know, sanitary for giveaway and all that? Well, we're going to use something I've never used. 
So I've got it. I've had it for probably the better part of a year. Probably got it last Christmas and just have never used it. It's, I saw it in the bottom of the drawer, so I pulled it out. A Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements guitar pick. So that's what it's, and that's what it's for. It's for scooping out soap. So, uh, which I thought was a clever way of doing it. So that looked like a, like an almond size, maybe a little hefty almond size. So I'm gonna just, and what I do is I basically will push it off with my thumb into the bottom of the bowl and smush it down with my thumb. I, I can't do that on camera, it's just too awkward. Bowl's on the counter, so let me just do that. So there, I scoop that off. I'm gonna just throw the, the pick into the, into my sink full of water, and yes, it sinks to the bottom. So that's okay, it'll soften up the soap and I'll wash that off afterwards. So everything stays nice and sanitary. So I can, yeah, so I can shave these, or sorry, so I can give away these soap samples that I only pull one sample out of. So there we go. It's, it's smushed real easy. I'm gonna wash it. I'll show it to you in a minute as soon as I get the soap off my fingers. Okay, that's most of it. There we go. Wipe my finger off on that. There we go. So now, so there it is smushed in the bottom of the thing. So there we go. So pull my brush out of the sink. This is an AP Shave Co. handle with like a 20 millimeter cashmere knot. Size wise, it's kind of small as they go. It's one of my smaller ones. I call it my travel brush. Fits real good in the travel you know, box. Like there are travel like tube I got from Phoenix. So we can see here, I usually just put it on the right side with the, with the nozzle for the spout towards the sink and then I whip it up. So we're gonna do that now. And you can just leave it on the counter. <laughs> So after 50, it's not really getting too soapy. So yes, I'm gonna put a handful of water, let's drip it in there. There we go. And then go 50 more clockwise. That's 50, there's more. So it, to me, it's just now starting to wake up, just now. But I see that's after 100, but I still have 150 to go. Because remember I do 250 total swirls when I load soap in the bottom, if I haven't preloaded it by swirling it into the container, which any new soaps I don't do anymore. And of course, it's obviously those little sample size, I can't do it. So yeah, so I give it an extra 50 just to help open up. So now I'm switching over to counterclockwise and I'll do the 150, so 50 at a time. Really kind of did a hundred there, so yeah, it's waking up more. But yeah, I'm gonna give it another hundred, that extra fifty. So let me just do that by hand here. You can hear the water clogging. Hope it come over the side. And I could probably go another hundred easy. I probably could to to really make that so perfect. But you know, my my kind of stick to a basic rule and. Just to give you consistency, so, so I always do it always the same with all the soaps. So that's what I try to do. Now, of course, doing all that, the face is drying out after I washed it. Uh, but before I, of course, splash on water and get started, I just want to show you one more thing. My Altoids tent. I don't have any special, um, didn't pay any money for any blade bank. So I just keep, there's no slot in the middle to drop them down. It's got a cap. What do I need a slot? The cap opens up. Okay. And there's... You know, a mess of uh, blades. It's probably a good, I'd say there's over 50 in there. So that's a good, you know, year's worth of blades. And I can go probably all this year. And yes, I, I always have a tin of Altoids, probably each of my vehicles. So, you know, my wife's car has it, my, my truck has a tin of Altoids. Oh, I just always do. So I always have empty Altoids tins around. I usually save old tins um, too in my garage. I usually have a few on the shelf just, just to hold something. They're, they're good for holding tiny things, whatever. Perfect little thing for, for holding razor blades. So I just want to show it to you. Nice rectangular shape find. You use an old tobacco tin. Oh, oh, you can use an old Nivea cream tin. You know, I have that. This is what I use most of the time in the winter time because this says it's good for your hands, your face, and your body. So yeah, because it's good for face, I put it on my forehead, I put it on the other. This is what I usually use. So I don't really use aftershave bombs too much. I've, I've got a couple, don't really use them so much. I do have that honeysuckle one 
that's this jelly thing I think I then I use that one is because I just love the set so yeah I, I do have that one I use in the summer but generally I use this however I said that but that's not what we're doing today what we're doing today because I've had this sample for a while too is a Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements aftershave serum they call it and yeah that rating is tiny I had to get a magnifying glass to look at it I basically checked to make sure there was no alcohol in it because I am going to do a splash with alcohol in it because I probably prefer to do that after I shave. I want to, you know, disinfect and all that. So that's what I'm doing. But I don't know you can't really see it in my skin, but yeah, it's like dry right now. I haven't put on that face cream today. So yeah, the skin is a little, 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 little flaky, a little dry. Um, I purposely didn't wash. I got digital wipe down, but I haven't really washed my face yet, up your forehead, other than, you know, the, the shave. Because I wanted you to see if you could see flaky skin a little bit to know that, yeah, it's dry in here. Uh, the humidity was like 34%, way too low for me, my personal taste. I obviously have my humidifier is running now, so it's probably not even 40% yet, but in the house, but still a little dry. So I want to say, yes, wintertime is a good time, especially people north of the Mason-Dixon line, you know, anybody in that northern central United States and above, when you, you know, get snow and all that, it's cold and it's dry. So yeah, it's good to have a little something on the, on the, on the skin, a little moisture, so keep a little moisture in. So that's what I do. And let me see here. So we got this. Let me just splash the face. Wipe my hands off. Now we'll put some soap on. Oh, pleasant going on. Very pleasant. Big whiff. Scent strength. I'm going to say a good five. A good strong five anyway. Maybe even a six. No, probably five. To me it's a five. Well, five or six. You be the judge. <laughs> Very pleasant, very nice. Sweet is, and I, my preference is towards sweet scents. They don't have to be terribly sweet, but just have a little sweetness to them. I, it's my preference, just just my choice. But I also enjoy the ones that are like pure woodsy. I think Phoenix makes it, their sandalwood is just a pure woodsy, it's not sweet. And I've enjoyed their soap before too, so I like that. So I like both, it just I probably lean a little bit more. The ones I have, I have way more of the ones that got a little sweetness than the ones, than the ones that don't. I probably have four at most of the ones that don't have sweetness in them. And oh, this, this cashmere knot is just so soft and nice. And I'm just sitting here painting on cave <laughs> cream. Because it's so soft and luxurious feeling. It really is. That, that cashmere, and this, this was like inexpensive to make this razor or actually to order it. And they offer it because you, you ordered, I ordered the handle, I ordered the head. The knot, and, and then they say, then they, they ask you, do you want us to assemble it for you? So I said, yes. <laughs> I didn't have to do it. So, not that it's hard. You just use a two part epoxy to do it. It's not hard to do, but they're going to do it for me. Awesome. Okay, let's stop. Enough of that. Don't need that anymore. So now I'm warming up this Parker. If it doesn't fall out of my hand, it's so heavy. I'm teasing. You know, it's, it's, it's not that heavy. <laughs> it's just, it just amazed me that's the heaviest production razor I've, I've really ever held in my hand that I can think of. Um, so let me roll so on my little finger there. There we go. So let's pay attention. It is on level five, so paying attention. Two days growth, of course, like usual for Saturday morning. And it's pretty effortless, so being careful so it doesn't bite me. Over this scar area. Did well over that. Obviously holds a lot of soap. Look at all that. I'm, there's so much there. I'm just going to rinse it off before you see the side. I really <laughs> did that side. So yeah. Okay. I'm looking, I'm just, I'm actually just realizing how smooth this feels on the first pass, uh, all at full level five. Okay, first pass, enjoying it, really enjoying it. Am I still sitting there? Let's make sure there's no creep, you know, it looks like it's still at level, yeah. And it is, it's, it's like firmer, once you're within the, the, the dial zone for one to five, it is a firmer twist there. 
So I'm assuming there's a gasket involved somewhere that makes it do that, but but yeah, it works well. And 22, this is my first Parker. I have never owned or borrowed or used a Parker razor before. I can't believe I've gone this long and not used a Parker. Which tells me I'm gonna need to try a, a regular Parker, just a regular, you know, three piece type razor or whatever. Two, three piece, whatever they have, just that's not adjustable. Because so far, I mean, this is only first pass and first passes are easy for most razors. Not all, I've had some I did not care for right off the get go. So, pass two. And I'm thinking to myself, already I'm thinking to myself, if I didn't have two days growth, if this was a daily shave, I probably would not be level five. It would probably be more like level three for me. Because tomorrow being the Sunday, I, you know, I shave on Sunday mornings too before church. I'm probably, because it'll only be one day, I'm going to do it in that level three. But it'll tell me too, is tomorrow morning I'll tell it, and even you know, after the shave, I'll be able to tell, how does my face feel? Does it feel like I've you know, really gotten close and it's you know, a little, little sensitive or not? Somebody was telling me in the comments, that they like this razor, but they felt that the Mercur, not the future, the other Mercur, Mercur adjustable one, I can't remember, um, they thought was, was smoother and not as aggressive. And I'm, I'm telling you now that, you know, after trying the, the future, this is way less aggressive than that. That was, to me, that was just like a thoroughbred horse. It was just, it, it was, it would want to reach out and get me. You really had to concentrate on it. So I didn't care for that because you really had to pay attention to the razor. It was just, it's a lot of work not to cut yourself or not to nick yourself, I thought. I thought it was a little bit too much. And I just don't want a razor like that. So that was a borrowed razor from Steve. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> but didn't care for it. What not my wheelhouse. And I've done two layers here. Okay, I could have done a little better on this side, and it's technique, it's me. You know, but I'm not going to go back and chase it because it's the first use of this razor. I'm just going to let that go. I'll get it tomorrow. I don't want to increase my odds of cutting myself at a first use blade and all that. And a brand new razor I've never used before. So third part, pass against the grade, still on level five. With a two-day growth, yeah, I don't find this level five to be too much at all. I find this combination with this Wilkinson, Wilkinson, sorry, Gillette, Silver Blue, to be very nice. That that blade is smooth, efficient. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And yes, I don't normally lather and do under shave underneath here the far third pass. I did. The last pass, I felt it just a tick right there, just a tick. Whoops, wrong way. That's the wrong direction. What do I do? I could go ahead and repaint. There we go, repaint. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks good. Light touch. I mean, it's a heavy razor, light touch. And even through this heavy, thickest part, my thickest, really densest area that's, is right here on the, just under the jawline on my neck. And it just went through that like butter. Leave it a little bit, yep, leave it a little bit. So I'm, so I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do a, a buffing pass. 
we just water because from previous uses of the soap, we know that it'll, it'll do that. It wakens up the, the slickness. Which makes sense. You want to use enough water because you really want that slickness in your soap. So you got to use enough water. So if your water, if your soap is a little runny, fine. It just makes it a little messy, but you know, it's, it's going to be slick. Yeah, I did that, and then right here, press right along the low spot here. Light touch, light touch, and it goes this way too. Gotta go both directions. Here they, have, here they go this both directions. To take my water right there. Really down low, really low. Okay, there we go. I feel like there's one. Oh, I'm still feeling it. It's right there. There it is. No, it's still kind of there. Now it's gone. Okay, that got it. Okay. Okay, so level five, all three passes. Nice, nice shave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Like that a lot. So that was very nice and it was smooth. Oh, yeah. You know, you just water to, to waking up. You know, the water helps you to fit, find those little spots. I'm just being extra picky because it's in the razor. Right there. And I can do that. See, I can do that without reapplying soap because I put water on instead and it, wake, it wakens up that slickness, that soap. Wonderful. It does. It really does a good job. Very pleased with the performance of the Razor Emporium House brand soap. Very pleased. Really performs right, right up there. Very pleased. Okay, I'm just going to let that drain out. So let me pause, wash out the face, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. Washed out the equipment. Washed my face off with warm water and a washcloth. So the pores are still open, of course, because I cleaned off all the soap out of the soap and pores. And now we're going to splash on two splashes of cold water, like usual. Get that running. Get my towel off the wall here. Move things out of the way. And let's do those two splashes. Here we go. Come on. Two. Okay. Two splashes. And then we use the Shave Nation alum stick. Now you can tell it's the level is up to here, so it's it's getting there. Of course, it was down here when I got it, and it's up to here now. It's this is I've had this for probably a couple of years, so alum lasts a long time. I mean, if I was shaving every day, I don't need any more. I only shave four days a week now. But when I was shaving every day, yeah, I would I would go you know the better part about an alum stick in a year, but still have some left. I mean, it could probably go like year third at least, if not a year and a half. On even at most basic little small little alum, they they just last. It's it's probably the most economical thing you can buy in shaving is an alum stick. Highly recommended. And you see that we use this most of the time too um, versus the witch hazel. I do have witch hazel. I have it. I've got probably two bottles of it that I've had for a few years now. I just stopped using it. I was using it daily. I just find this better. I like this better. You get that little sting because this it's basically a salt. It's a mineral salt. And you get little stings like where you, you know, micro nicks, whatever. So you can tell, you can tell how your, your razor's performing, how you're doing. Or if you get like a really sting, you know, yeah, you went a little too heavy on that spot. None of which that happened today. I used that razor on level five. Had a little spot sting right to the, to the left of this little spot that doesn't seem to go away yet. Another reason, see these spots, of course, I'm shaking every other day. I'm, I'm trying to be general, ginger, gingerly with it and not come down on it. But, you know, it's still there. So it's like, yeah. But as you have blemishes on your face, whatever too, just through the year and what have you, that really helps with the healing of all that stuff. So not just micro nicks, but you know, any kind of little cuts or, or blemishes on your face too, it helps with that. So really, really good. If you have teenagers, yeah, help them use this after they wash their face. Okay, I'm just using a basic little aftershave that just, this is my least lasting aftershave, 4711. Wonderful scent, but it really does not last long. And that's why I chose it. I was gonna use 
the, the little brand, not to say if I have, but I find that that lasts a little longer than this does. This goes on wonderfully. Oh, a little, little sting in that little cut I got. <laughs> a little alcohol on it. Yeah, you're going to feel it. But this just doesn't last as far as scent. It just like <sighs> dissipates. But it's fresh. It's nice. It's a little bit slit citrusly, but a little, like almost like a little minty too. A little citrus mint thing going on. But I just really enjoy it. It's a little pick me up scent. It's really nice. Okay, got that. So now, so now we're going to use this this aftershave serum from and what's this one this is called mysterium serum okay it's got the little and of course the sample that you can get from from phoenix let's see i've had this for a while I, I bet i've had this for the better part of a year and just never used it probably got it last winter and just didn't use it okay that's probably oh, it comes out almost shaved creamy ish that's good. okay so i'm gonna stand that back up and against the wall a little bit it's probably a little bit speck on the wall that was probably way too much. Oh, it goes on soft and nice. Oh, the scent. Oh, that's nice. I like that scent. Totally different than the aftershave. Totally different. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's definitely some woodsiness there too. I can feel it. And I say, yeah, I've got way too much on my hands. <laughs> I've got way too much. Get a couple of Kleenexes off my, get it off my hands. That was just, yeah, a little goes a long way with that. So yeah, don't you use half as much as you saw me use. <laughs> yeah, that'll help you. Yeah. Okay, that's already, and that's not sl slick and slippery. It's already like drying down. So yeah, so actually I, I just wiped that off my hands. I want a little bit more because we're gonna try. Normally I wouldn't do this. I would just always use my, my other one there, but uh, I just wanna see how it performs on the forehead. So it's just a little scaling in the forehead, whatever, too, so I didn't like you know, wash my face and all that. So this is a test. You did the eyebrows because the eyebrows get, you know, all you know, dry and cracked too in there. So I'm just curious. I'm curious what will it do? Oh. Under the eyes. Okay, there we go. We'll test. <laughs> so that was done. So, yes, really enjoyed. The Parker razor, this Parker variant adjustable razor. Amazed at how much I, I enjoyed that, especially for the price. Wow, I mean, the price point was, was it's, it's probably the least expensive adjustable razor that I've ever purchased. And that includes buying used Gillette's off of eBay, it includes that. <laughs> so yeah, that was good. Really enjoyed that. So guys, I showed you a bunch of stuff. Hope you liked and go with God.